Hello everyone! If you are ready to plunge into the atmosphere of fairy tales and the underwater world, let's not delay and welcome to the Museum of Jellyfish. Before we start, I want to tell you what happens if you get stung by a jellyfish. So the effects. Allergic shock, significant injury, skin pain, back pain, fever, severe reaction can cause difficult breathing, coma and death. But don't worry, no one will get hurt during our tour. I want to start with Cassiopeia andromeda, or is it called an upside down jellyfish? And why? You will find out in just a few minutes. It inhabits warm parts of the Atlantic Ocean, the Caribbean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico. What's interesting is that unlike most of its relatives, the jellyfish thinks it should swim upside down, with its tentacles facing upwards into the light. Often our guest is confused for this reason with the coral. And it has a superpower. The Cassiopeia creates around itself something like burning water clouds. Next we will observe the human-friendly airing lactoids. It's a really tiny, as its bell size is up to 30 mm. The story of this jellyfish discovery is quite interesting. Our little guy was first spotted in 1992. After a photo of unknown jellyfish from a Tokyo aquarium hit the internet. However, the existence of this jellyfish in the wild is still a mystery. The next guest in our story is the marble jellyfish. You can find it in the Western Atlantic Ocean, but we advise not to disturb it, as its spite leaves a small burn. When this jellyfish grows up, its bell will reach 40-50 cm, and as it gets older, like a grandmother who eventually gets wrinkled, this jellyfish gets blotchy. That's actually what makes it different from the rest of the jellyfish. This jellyfish you may have faced in your life. Moon jellyfish. This species is the most common and lives only 6 months. We advise you to avoid contact with this jellyfish as it may not pose any serious threat to humans, but the bite can be really painful. The name moon jellyfish comes from its four moon-like elements on the bell, which are in fact their reproductive organs. The white ones are male and the big ones are female. If it doesn't get enough food and they mainly eat plankton, the species can shrink in size. Just imagine, a moon jellyfish can shrink to a tenth of its size. Meet our next guest, the Australian spotted jellyfish, a species found in the waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans, from Australia to Japan. Our ocean dweller can live for one year feeding on plankton. Don't be afraid when you see it around, as the bite doesn't cause any serious damage. Our jellyfish have small blue spots in their bodies, which are algae, and they sustain life through their photosynthesis. And this beauty is very friendly. Its name is Canobal jellyfish, and it's not only one of the least poisonous jellyfish, but it also likes to make friends with spider crabs and small fish. And this tiny baby is called barrel jellyfish. 
leaves in the Azor Black Mediterranean Seas. We advise to avoid this species, even though it's not dangerous for humans, but the bite can be really painful. The barrel jellyfish is very picky about weather conditions. Before the storm, they move away from the coastline and sink to the bottom. And these babies are relatives of the moon jellyfish you saw earlier, but this is a brown-banded moon jellyfish. It is found on the coastlines of North America. And don't be afraid to go near it, as the bites are not felt by human at all. And this small number of jellyfish are relatives of the previously mentioned barrel jellyfish. Its name is Lutum jellyfish. Its bite may cause redness as if it had been burned by a nettle. Just like their relatives, these jellyfish also bottom out in bad weather and swim away from the coastline. And this jellyfish you may have seen in the Mediterranean and Adriatic seas. That's the name it's given, the Mediterranean jellyfish. These gorgeous creatures can leave a bit of a burn, so enjoy its beauty from a distance. These creatures are none other but Japanese sea nettle. You can find them in the Pacific Ocean near Japan. But we advise not to disturb it. Remember? They are living for two years and they are never alone. The bells of these jellyfish are home to the Japanese butterfish and for a good reason. This fish is actually very tricky because the sea creatures that hunt it are terrified of this species of jellyfish. And South American sea nettle awaits for your attention. This beauty is one of the most common causes of skin injuries on the coasts of Chile and Argentina. This species has as many as 24 tentacles up to 4 meters long. When mass reproduction takes place, it has a negative impact on fishing, aquaculture and tourism. Be very careful if you ever meet it. I want to take a break and tell you about 5 cases when jellyfish caused big problems for humans. USA, 2006. Jellyfish have blocked the output of chilled water for a nuclear power plant, thereby reducing production by 60%. Northern Ireland, 2007. Jellyfish killed 100,000 farmed salmon. Black Sea 1982 Jellyfish wiped out $350 million of fishing industry. Oman 2003 A desalination plant's output is halved after 300 tons of jellyfish damage its intake screens. Japan 2009 A 10-ton trawler sunk 
after its crew try to pull out a net full of jellyfish. And we continue our tour. At first you might think this is some kind of weird fire creatures, but no, it's an Atlantic sea nettle. This beauty is not very friendly because it feeds on other jellyfish, but don't worry, it won't eat you. At most it will be uncomfortable after a bite. But for such beauty, I think we can forgive anything. And if you want to see it, go to the shores of the Atlantic, Indian and the Pacific Ocean. And that kind of jellyfish really scares me. Although, it better be scared of us. It's a flame jellyfish, a popular food in South and East Asia. Imagine eating it raw, just like a salad. It's also used in Chinese traditional medicine to treat high blood pressure, burns, arthritis and more. And last but not the least, Pacific sea nettle. This beauty lives in the coasts of North America and the seas of Japan and brings quite a number of problems. Not only is their size quite impressive, the bell up to 50 cm or even more and the tentacles are up to 4.5 meters long. They also reduce the fish population and they have become a problem for a fisherman in Oregon. Their gathering becomes a problem for trolls and water intake, but in spite of this, these species become a prey of many fishes. Sorry to say, but that's the end of our tour with you. And by the way, my name is Alex, and I was your guide for today. I hope to see you as soon as possible. Bye!